Afternoon ladies and gents, it's Mark here from South London Investigates Paranormal. Um, it's just a quick video really because we wanted to touch base with everyone um, um, and just just give you a bit of an update really with what's been going on. Um, first and foremost, um, really important, um, early on this week we smashed through the 800 followers mark on uh, Twitter and that's fantastic because we haven't been running that Twitter account very long. Um, but we've got so much support, we've made so many um, new friends um, in the paranormal world on Twitter um, and we just really, we would really like to thank you for all that support that you've shown, so, um, so thank you. Um, this year has been quite busy for Slip, we've, we've sort of, um, sort of up, up to gear a little bit, um, we started running some public events. Um, and we've been on, on so many investigations this year. Um, so very quickly, just to update you with what we've done, um, our very first public event was at the Groundlings Theatre in Portsmouth. Um, very intimate venue, very small. We only took a very small group of, of people with us, but we had a fantastic night. It's a great venue. If you ever get the opportunity to investigate the Groundlings Theatre, please do. Um, we got some activity there. We we did some videos, um, got some pictures, got some EVPs. It's all uploaded to our website um, with a report, and it's all on our social media. And we'll talk about that at the end of this video very briefly. But um, but yeah, it's a great venue. It's a lovely venue. Uh, we then moved on. We did a private event, uh, a private investigation uh, in central London. It was a great night. We got so much activity. We took along Nick, our uh, team resident uh, skeptic uh, and he was gobsmacked with some of the evidence that we walked away with so that was a great night again the reports online um, and then we did we visited London tombs for the second time first time we went there last year amazing place amazing venue tons of activity so much we lost track um, but this time nothing well I say nothing it, it was very very quiet for us um, but you can't win them all not every venue is going to be active every time we go there, and we know that. So, uh, but it was good. It was good to get out and investigate and get the kit out and, and go through that. The same really with the Clink. We went to the Clink Prison Museum earlier this year for an investigation. It was it was very very quiet, very sedate atmosphere in there. It, it wasn't active at all uh, for us. We caught nothing, in fact, for the whole night. A little bit of hair pulling on Carle. Um, but that was it really, that was it. Um, we then move on, we did Adelstall House. Now that was a great event. It wasn't our event, we didn't run that event. We went with a different, different team. But it was a fantastic night, really well run. Couldn't, I can't fault the team that was running that investigation. Uh, they're lovely girls. And um, we got tons of activity. We've written it all up again, it's, it's all online. There's pictures online, there's EVPs online that we recorded. Uh, we were there with Barry Guy off the TV. It was a good night, very good night. And then finally, this year, uh, so far this year, we did the Dark Lines of London tour. This is uh, it's a walking tour based on a, a graphic novel that's been published and will be available uh, next month. I think it's, it's going to be released at Comic Con actually next month. Um, we had a fantastic day. Uh, the weather was good, which which is a bonus. Um, but it's uh, uh, a short walk. It's only, I think it's about three or four miles through central London, but it follows a ley line, which this story, this graphic novel is based on. Um, very historic uh, part of London. Lots of information um, on, on the history of this ley line and, and the places that, that sit along this ley line. And the guy that runs it, Stephen Salah, is, a, is such a knowledgeable man, such a, a friendly man very interactive with, with his audience um, and he's also written this, this graphic novel so um, if you get an opportunity to get online Google Dark Lines of London um, and, and have a look out for that graphic novel because you, you will be impressed you, it, it's, it's going to be a good good book moving forward we've got, we got some events coming up um, in fact we've got one tomorrow night we're off to Pollock's Toy Museum in central London um, this is not our investigation, this is being organised by another team. 
um, but we are going along as paid guests. We're really looking forward to it. We love going to central London locations. There's so much history in town, it's, it's unreal. Um, looking forward to this venue. It's one that we've never been to before, um, but one we have heard about online. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to that one. Um, stay tuned, because obviously we'll do a little report and get some pictures and hopefully any evidence we capture, we'll get it shared online. Then we move forward to our own investigation. So our second public event of 2019 will be on the 17th of August this year, and that's at the True Crime Museum in Hastings. Um, new venue for us, never been there before, but from what we've we've seen online and what we've, we've heard, it is a fantastic place. Uh, tons of history, tons of, of activity has been recorded in there. Um, now we still have tickets available for that, we have five, five tickets available, uh, 17th of August, 9pm to 1am, tickets are priced at £45, um, and obviously that includes refreshments throughout the night, um, please do get in touch with us uh, if you would like to come along, um, you can secure your place on that event with a, a deposit of £20, um, but do get in touch with us, you can get in touch with us through social media, through the website or by email, and we'll go through that at the end of this little video. Uh, we then got the Ragged School. Now, Ragged School, it's basically, it's, it's a uh, location in, in London, not far from uh, the city of London. Uh, the whole team, being born and bred Londoners, are really looking forward to getting into this place. It's, it's one of those places that we see teams going to almost on a weekly basis and they always walk away with different activity and new activity so we can't wait to get in there. Now that's on the 7th of September, 9pm uh, till 4am uh, and it's £50. Now at the moment we are sold out, we have no more tickets but obviously we do get last minute cancellations and sometimes at venues we are able to add people on and release a few more tickets that we've held in reserve. So if you would be interested in coming to the Ragged School, get in touch with us please, because we are compiling a waiting list. Um, and if we can get you a ticket to that place, there, to that event, then we will. Um, then we move on to the Old Lamb Inn, Phil in Berkshire. Uh, this is in October. This is a team only event, it's not public. It's us and our very good friends over at West London Paranormal and South East Paranormal team. Um, two teams that we, we work closely with, uh, we're all London based, um, and that we've worked with before. And we can't wait to get in there. It's a new location to us. Um, sort of, we've done a little bit of research, it's a bit hit and miss when it comes to activity, but um, yeah, we, we're really looking forward to that one, to see what we can pick up. And then, Finally, the last public event for us for 2019 will be at Kelvedon Hatch Secret Nuclear Bunker. That's on the 22nd of November, 9pm till 6am. So that is a sleepover event. The sleepover being optional. Uh, for those people that are already booked onto this event, that is optional. You don't need to stay there if you don't want to. Um, but we've done Kelvedon before. Loved it. Did the sleepover. Tons of activity. It's such a great location. Um, I can assure you, anybody that's already booked onto that, you will not be disappointed and anybody that wanted to get onto that event um, and uh, you know likewise it is again it is sold out but we've compiled a waiting list so if there are people that uh, would be interested in coming to Kelvin Hatch get in touch because we can add people to that event um, as necessary we're trying to keep it as small as possible like we do with all our events we like to keep them small and intimate but um, but if we can add people to this event then we will so please do get in touch um, we're also in talks with someone uh, in South London, can't say where at the moment, but uh, their premises are experiencing some activity and activity seems to have ramped up recently um, and we're in talks with them about going in to investigate their place. Um, so hopefully with their permission we'll be able to publish some details, not too much, we, wanna go, we won't go into too much detail, but we will, we will try and uh, do a little report on that, um, on that as we, we go along. So yeah, in relation to private investigations, it moves nicely in. Um, private investigations, we're always, always happy and keen to go out on private investigations, you know, high people's homes, places of work. Um, if you'd like us to, uh, then please do get in touch. Um, we're more than happy to go in, into these places to see if we can pick up on any activity and try and give you some answers 
to what you might be looking for. Um, all our private investigations remain free. We don't charge people for a private investigation. We don't believe in that. Um, because we're just doing something that we enjoy doing and hopefully we're providing a little bit of a service to people when it comes to a private investigation. But if you do have a venue that you'd like us to look at, you're interested in talking to us about any activity that you've experienced, um, even if we can't help you ourselves, we can certainly put you in touch with someone who hopefully can. So um, so yeah, get in touch, do contact us for, for more information. And in relation to contacting us, uh, we've got a Twitter page, we've got a Facebook page, we've got an Instagram page, uh, our website, uh, www.southlondonparanormal.com our email uh, southlondonparanormal at gmail.com um, later on this year in relation to social media we'd love to do some Facebook and Instagram lives hopefully we'll do that at the Old Lamb Inn um, I know Carly she's all set to do a loan investigation a loan vigil at the Old Lamb so um, hopefully she'll be able to do a Facebook live or something like that um, but yes so we've got lots planned lots going on lots has already gone on um, stay tuned, keep up to date with us online, on social media and on our website uh, because we'll be posting everything online for you to have a look at. Um, and that's about it. So have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. If you're investigating, stay safe. Uh, if you're not, you're just enjoying the weather, have a good one and we'll speak soon. Bye-bye.